And welcome, this is Bala Scuba with another random game. This is going to be Cuba. I don't know exactly how to say that, but that's what I'm going to be going with. Q-B-E-H, Cuba. Now, I have already beaten the game, so I've unlocked sandbox mode. I'll show that off at the end. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get this started. First, we must begin with learning, of course. This is a fun little puzzle platformer. Um, very reminiscent, if you ask me, of the indie game Cube. Q-U-B-E. And it's, it's very nice, I must admit. Just all the little graphics here, the falling leaves, that's a very nice touch. Very nice touch. Let's head this way, and an arrow pointing up means we can probably head up here. For some reason, my cursor turned green over that. I wonder what that could be. Let's right-click these, as this thing said. Right-click turns into a square with dots around it. Pretty much means I can right-click the cubes, and they will well, for lack of a better word, get into my inventory. So now a left click and we get a full cube. So if I left click here, anywhere with the grid, actually, it doesn't have to be like there, but that's where they want me to go. That should be fine. I can still make it. I can still make it up here. And we have made it to the end of the level. Very nice. Exploring. So now it's time to move on and explore. Now that we've finished learning, we have more blocks. Let me pick those up. And we can just jump across here and die. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I died there. First jump. Okay. Yeah, spoiler alert, there's going to be more jumps. Let's jump on the cubes. N no. Are you kidding me? I over jump. I am not good at platforming in this game, I have figured out. It's... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out hopefully very soon because there's much more platforming to be done. Let me just grab that cube before we move on. Grab some more. Now I have three cubes. And I can head up here. Very nice. And... Damn it! Why did you shoot away my platform? I was going to take the cube! Uh, those will just continue going on forever, by the way. Let's just move on. Doesn't look like there's anything these ways, so I'll just continue going forward to another tree up in the sky. It's like a little sky puzzle palace thing. Uh, looks like there's pretty much two ways that we can go here. That looks like a platforming puzzle. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Uh, just a little bit of a platforming puzzle, whereas this one's a little bit more of a block puzzle. So I'm going to go with the block puzzle because this game is all about the blocks. So I might as well go for the blocks. Let's grab this, jump over here, and we have made it up. Can I make this jump? Ugh. I don't know. This was Minecraft. I don't think I can make that jump. Hurt. But here I can. I definitely can. So let's move on. And now we're made. We're in Cassandra. Okay, now we're starting to get all Greek and metaphorical. Uh, for those of you that don't know the story of Cassandra. Oh, uh, the rain. Uh, the rain does cause a little bit of lag. For me, at least. I'm pretty sure this is lag and not the way that it was supposed to be done. Uh, because it it only happens when I'm looking out on the rain. I'm not sure if this is just my computer, uh, but like you know, I'm running modern games at highest uh, highest graphics settings. Why should this lag on me? But it does a little bit. It does. Uh, Cassandra, I believe she is in the Iliad. Uh, she is a, a prophet, and she sees the impending. Let's can I grab that? She sees the impending destruction of Troy during the Trojan War. However, she is powerless to stop it and has ever since become a metaphor for somebody that sees what's coming but can't do anything to prevent it. It is a pretty sad metaphor, but one that is very prevalent. Okay. Ah, I see. I see what they want me to do here. I see it. Can I do it, though? I can. Very nice. I still have one cube left over. No, I, I meant to grab them. Hit the wrong button. Okay, let's drop one there. And 
No, don't fall. <laughs> don't fall! Okay, I can hit one there, and I think that's all that I need. Just the one there. And then I can jump across. And just to be safe, let's jump there. Now here, I can just place my, my remaining one. If you didn't have one left over, you can grab that one. But I still had one left, so now I can jump up here and across. And I believe I have made it to the end. So the world did not end. Atlas, more Greek mythology. For those of you that don't know who Atlas is, Atlas is the one, holy crap, that is huge. Atlas is the titan that holds the entire world on his shoulders. This looks like something Atlas could hold on his shoulders. Can I take it? I can. And it gives me infinite cubes, but it looks like the entire world is being destroyed. Now, these floating blocks, they still have mass and, and all that kind of stuff, so... You know, keep that in mind. Don't just try to run through them. It won't work. It won't work. Let's head through here. I can easily make that jump. And jump down here. Okay. I got this. What the hell? What the hell? I was gonna jump there. Let's jump here instead. And can I place it there yet? No, I need to jump here. And now I can place it there and continue to run let's head down here into the hallway just continue to run and run and run and i have made it and good thing too because there went the level i have destroyed the world apparently and but that's that is not actually the end it opens up the end which is a level still Still a level. As you can see here, we definitely have Greek um, decoration, I guess you could say, on the walls. So let's just move forward. I think I see somebody in the light over there. I want to approach you. I, I believe this is on purpose. I don't believe this is something that is due to lag. But it doesn't look like we're going to make it to the person in the light. Maybe it was Cassandra. To be begun what not to be continued so are you saying i haven't beaten it yet i'm pretty sure i have because here are the credits for cube once again that's how i'm going to pronounce it because i know no other way and now it's time for very slow credits they're not too long. They are a little lengthy, though. Uh, I have no idea how to say anybody's names uh, because they all look uh, Scandinavian to me. And to be honest, I I apologize, but I do not know the difference between uh, Norwegian, Swedish, and Finnish in terms of, of languages. So I, I'm not even going to guess which ones they are. It could be Icelandic, too, for all I know. I'm sorry. I, j I just don't know. But whales have secrets, too. And launchable socks? Used with permission? Is that the name of the song? I assume that whales have secrets, too, must then be the name of the song, since it had to be uh, used with permission. By, by a band named Launchable Socks, maybe? Band names. What are you going to do? What are you gonna oh, Finnish, it looks like, because it was .fi. So it looks like this is a Finnish game and everybody had Finnish names but once again that's just assuming that FI stands for that everybody here was Finnish because it was uh, a .fi I don't know for sure but I have unlocked sandbox mode now sandbox mode is very nice they added a whole bunch of scenery here so what I can do with my infinite blocks is I can now uh, start placing blocks everywhere i can do whatever i want with my rainbow blocks unfortunately i am not very creative at all as you can see from my masterpiece many colors arranged in a rectangle i like it uh there does seem to be something over here though away from the grid that i can go to on the 6th of june 2012 a.d alexi 
can I can I go in? Are you gonna let me in? I have to jump in. <laughs> On the sixth of June, two thousand twelve A.D., Alexei became the first person to overcome the trials of the cube. So Alexei was the first person to beat this, and by touching that, I have forwarded time a little bit. It looks like because now it seems like it's uh, a little bit later in the day. Can I do that again? And now it is night. This is this is pretty cool. A little cool mechanic here. So if I do this again, will it be even darker? It looks like it is darker. This is this is cool little scenery that they got, and then the music always helps as well. I think that's as dark as I'm going to be able to make it. But that is going to do it for this video of Cubic. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've been Bala Scuba. I have. Well, I have been joined by nobody, just a random set of cubes this time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.